Communication Skills with Dr. Torper. It's hardest to use good communication skills precisely in those situations when you need them the most. Will you help me? I need your help. They're never there when you need them. So let's practice. Exercise one. It takes more than intellect to be a musician. Put your soul into it a little. Before you offer someone critical feedback, you need to ask permission. Try, is it okay if I make a suggestion? I recommend you play with emotion as well as intellect. So when you sit down at the organ, the bench doesn't look like the lost and found of a morgue. Exercise two. Can I help you? Fill it up. Manners. Be polite. Instead, they could have said, Hello, sir. Would you please pour some more dead dinosaur juice in my crate? Somehow, I still haven't had my obligatory daily episode of Road Rage. <laughs> Exercise. Three. My dear, you cannot live in isolation from the human race. You need to give the other person the power to accept or reject your feedback. Like this. May I give you some unsolicited advice? Of course you should decline. This collar is so tight. I've been clinically brain dead for decades. And speaking of my collar, here comes a nice lady to take me for my daily walk. Exercise four. Look, you've had a fright. Hysteria won't solve anything. Now control yourself. My office is right across the street there. Wrong. First, you should introduce yourself and then grab a complete stranger, physically restrain them, proposition them, and get charged with sexual assault. He's been following me, that's all there is to it. Good job. It takes a lot of brain work practicing good communication skills, so engage in some self-care and relax. You could take a nice warm bath. or rearrange that room you've been wanting to do. And most of all, you stay in contact with the infinite. Thinking like that, don't that give you nightmares? Thank you.